All right, question six, we are going to graph y equals three sine of x plus pi force minus three. So first thing, let's identify a, b, c, d. So remember our general form is y equals a sine of bx minus c plus d. a is the number in front, it's three. B is the number by X. It's just one because it's just X. C is what comes after the minus sign, but oh, there's no minus sign. So this one is negative, negative pi force. Remember, we take the opposite sign when it's a plus there. So C is actually negative pi force. And then D is the last number. It's negative three. Okay, step one, find your midline, which is D. So Y equals negative three. My new program here, I'm just writing too fast for it. And then two, we're finding the amplitude. And that's just A. It's actually the absolute value of A, but ours is already positive, so it's three. So I'm going to go to my graph and I'm going to move my blue point down to the midline, which is at negative three. And then I'm going to make sure my graph using my yellow one is stretched up to the axis because that's three units. And then down to negative six because that's three units. Look at that. That should be a three. Struggling. Okay, so I'm going to take, I'm going to move that box, take it down to negative three and then up to the axis and then it's down to negative six. So three above, three below, that's our amplitude. And, oh, I should have started as we're starting with sine. So our graph, if it's not, we need to check. It starts at zero, zero, so it is a sine function. I feel like the cosine ones you have to move, but this one is a sine so we're good. Okay. Next is period. The period, we use our B value. It's equal to two pi over the absolute value of B. And this one, our period's not changing because B is one. So our period is going to be two pi, which it should have done on our graph. Let's just check. Um, yes. So we're going zero and before our graph repeats itself, we're at two pi. So the length of the period is two pi. We don't have to change anything for that one. The fourth thing we look at is the phase shift. And that's the horizontal shift of the graph, the left, the right. And that's equal to C over B. So C is negative pi over four. B is one. So our shift is negative pi over four. So think about it, a negative number, we're gonna go left. Pi force, I guess I didn't have to put the negative again. The negative means that we're moving back. So we're going back pi force. So again, that's the blue dot that moves the whole graph left and right and up and down. So right now I'm at zero, I need to go back to negative pi force. So I just shifted it to the left.